Hello everyone! Happiest of Fridays. Freaky Friday. Spooky. Spooky, scary, skeleton. And shivers down my spine. Hiya, Billy and Rasmus and Jelly Stars and IBTP underscore reviews. <laughs> Happy Final Girl Friday, everyone. Jimmer, Jimmer, I know that I'm saying it wrong, but I like to say Jimmer, Um, We, my friends, are going to be doing what I like to call a mashup tonight. Um, last week, we had, uh, well, we had a horrible, horrific defeat from stupid old stupid head. What was his name? The Inkanyamba. I died severely. Hello, new guy. Um, and so basically, I but I got through all of the sets. So somebody suggested that maybe I start doing some mashups. And the first mashup that somebody wanted to see was Geppetto versus Sheila um, at Camp Happy Trails. So that's three different sets. Geppetto is from Carnage at the Carnival or Carnival of Blood or whatever it's called. Camp Happy Trails is Hans's box set. And then Sheila comes from the Dr. Fright box set. And I actually... Oh, okay. So she's all about getting time and stuff and stuff. Cool. So um, let's jump down so that we can get things set up a little bit here. I did have some music playing from Epidemic Sound. I don't think anybody can hear it, though. I don't know how to set it up. But maybe someday, you know what? Maybe someday we'll figure it out. I don't know, maybe you can hear it, but I don't think that you can because I don't see any output stuff happening. You tell me. You tell me if you can hear spooky music in the background. My assumption is you cannot. Maybe someday, yeah. Maybe someday, but I wouldn't hold your breath. Okay, so I picked a random setup card and I did pick Capture the Flag. So that's the setup that we're going with today. So let's put our peeps out. We got the Killa Killa down here by the docks. We got me, Sheila, up here at Mako Point. Ooh, scandal. Um, yeah, I kind of figured there'd be no music. I don't know how to do it. Classic. So I'm just gonna turn off the player because it will eat up all of my bandwidth. And then we're gonna put some peeps all over the place. Keeps in the place. We got two people here. Ooh, everybody's, almost everybody's in pairs. That's fun. You know, don't die alone. That's great. Okay, and then we got two more here. Peeps in the place. They're just at camp, doing camp stuff. Um, okay, so for anybody that doesn't know, I also need to choose a heart, which literally every time, so far, I've picked, I'm pretty sure, no hearts. So, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Let's put these away. So I gotta get my other hearts out. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, Geppetto comes with minions. He's got puppets. And so not only are we trying to defeat Mr. Geppetto, but we are also trying to defeat his wee little puppets. And I forget what we called them last time, but one of them's name was Steve, for sure. One was Stringy, and the other one was something. I can't remember. That's fine. So there's no special rule set with Camp Happy Trails. Um, but there is some special rules with Geppetto. So just so everybody knows, like I said, Geppetto has his three puppets. They're over here. They are going to be, one of them will be populating out onto the board at the beginning of every killer phase. They are on strings due to the fact of being a puppet. So they can only go within two spaces of Geppetto. And if for some reason they are forced to go 
further than two spaces from Geppetto, then their target has to be him in terms of movement. They have one health and they have one attack and their movement value is always going to match. What's his face's? Geppetto's. Um, I was gonna, I forgot, I was gonna try and focus the camera beforehand, but we didn't. So it is going to be as focused as it is classic. Hello, Hannah, happiest of Fridays. Happy Friday. Okay, so I think everything is set up. We just need to pull an event. Because there's only basic setup. We got all of our dice set to sixes. I got a bowl full of Sour Patch Kids for anybody that was here Sunday with me and Jeff. That's all that's left. So, you know, we could, I'm just saying, we could put out Sour Patch Kids and then that could be my treat when they either die or they, you know, get yeah, saved. Uh, good evening, get this game 23. What are you saying, Hannah? I am in my pen and paper session right now, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to follow. Pen and paper session? I don't even know what that means. But that sounds like a thing. All right, let's pull our first event. And the first event is called Vengeance. I didn't know Batman was in this game. Good to know. I don't know why I pissed it off and I don't care. Just save me. Oh, we're putting out, oh no, it's not a special victim. The victim farthest from the killer is now the damned. I feel like I had this one last time. Whenever the killer must choose a target, the damned is chosen. The damned can only be saved if it is the last victim alive. The damned dies. If the damned dies, it's plus two bloodless. So I do think this means putting out a special victim so that we can mark it. So the victim that is farthest from the killer, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I guess I'll pick this one. Cause they're, ooh, actually, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, okay. So we'll just adjust. Hello, James, happy Friday. RPG is what that means. Okay, good to know. Um, I feel like treating yourself when they die might be counterintuitive. How about when they get saved then, Billy? How about that? All right, so once again, the event is the victim that's farthest away, which is this little orange peep over here. He's, you know, the damned. It, that happens to the best of us. Whenever the killer must choose a target, the dam is chosen instead. So this could be a good thing for me, anyways. He can focus on the little Cheeto guy. The damned can only be saved it is the la if it is the last victim alive. If he dies, it's plus two bloodlust. So, you know... That's the beaten and the damned. That is just so classic. Make sure I set my cameras up right. Perhaps I didn't. Oh, I see, I see. Why is that not doing anything? Boom. Hang on, I'm just wanting to see if I can. Hmm, weird. My jump-ins aren't working. Funny, funny. But not funny, haha. -ha. Funny, weird. Hmm, how strange. That's fine. Um, see if I do that, it's gone completely. And yet the lower zoom isn't here. So we apparently can't zoom in unless you guys can all see me zooming and I just can't see it myself. Um, so we're just gonna have to stay a little bit far out. Far out. Happy Friday, Jamie. I think the victim should be called the danged. The danged. Danged. Danger. Danged. <laughs> Did I say it right? Hello, time roller. Whoops. Whoops. I assume that's supposed to say what's up. Just for everybody who is, uh, if anybody's new here, I have horrible eyesight and the chat's so far away. So if I have to go like that, it's because I can't see it. The danged. Oh, yeah. I liked it. Dang it. The dang it. Okay. I like it. The danged. Okay. Let's go. So I have my hand, my handy dandy, um, zero cards. Oh, and I'll show you Sheila. Here she is with her cool glasses. Her special ability 
is to gain two time instead of one when discarding action cards. So she's all about time, you know? You love to see it. All right, let's go. So, oh, you can't see, but the items that are up, there's an aluminum bat, um, motorboat keys, and an archery bow. And I'm pretty far away from all of the search sites. So I don't know if that's the journey for me. I'm pretty far away from freaking everything. What the heck? I'm like one, two, three away from the closest victim. So I think we need to do, we probably need to do a walkie, but we also probably need to do a focus. So let's start with a focus. I really wish my jumping was working. That's such a bum. Bummer. What a bummer. Okay. Let's scroll it down. All right. So let's focus. Try and make sure that we can get some more dice. And we're starting off strong. Ta da! We got one five, which means. Hmm. Do you know what? I think, I think I am going to discard my weak attack and short rest in order to turn this three also into a five. And uh, that is going to not only let me decrease horror, but move my time up too, which is going to be awesome. Is that dice tray from Ta uh, Chai T for two? Yes, we have the whole set. Um, there's a few that we actually have ordered actually that are on the way, but anything we didn't order in the Kickstarter, they were very kind enough to give us those when we went to PAX Unplugged last year. So we have the whole set and I love them. They're like perfect little individual dice trays. So cute. All right. So we are going to do a little bit of a walkie. Whoa. Gee, uh, shoot. <laughs> or not. So we failed. So it's a good thing we gained those two times because uh, we're about to lose them. Unless I want to lose a heart. Do I want to sacrifice? It? No, we're not sacrificing a heart so early on. So we'll try to walk again. One star. So we get to move one space and we lose one time. Um, the question is, I think I might, I'm just going to save that last focus card. Can't wait for mine. I hope they will come one day. Yeah, same. I am excited for the, I'm excited for the new ones that I don't have, even though we have so many already. I just like every time we have a game day, everybody gets their own personal tray. They get to choose what they want and I like it. Okay. So I have five time to spend. I am... The archery bow is at the utility shed, which is up here. So if I try to mosey my way up here, I would like to have a weapon. Although the aluminum bat is good, but the archery gives us range. So I think I am going to take a search for two. I am going to take a sprint for two. So that's four. And I'll take a close call for five. So these are the cards that I took. And I still have a focus and all of these are going to go here. Boom. Someone might have asked this on a past stream, but are you getting Final Girl Season 2? Yes, I am. It is on its way, should be here soon, hopefully. Um, I know that I just got an email update today that said the Canadian shipping, um, they are going well now. 50% of them have been delivered. And the other 50%, which would obviously be me, will be here by the end of next week, hopefully. So I am optimistic that I will have it next week, which means if it gets here before Friday, next Friday, we will have one of the new sets, which I love. Okay. It is now Sir Geppetto's turn. So we need to put out one of these. This is what, this is what it look like. This is Steve. We can give them new names, but I feel like Steve needs to be Steve because he's an OG. Steve gets put into the killer's space. And just to make sure, um, ba 
Yeah, spawning one puppet. I just wanted to make sure I didn't need to spawn all the puppets. Okay, so now the puppets um, just basically do whatever the killer does on a tarot card, but they have their own action and they go first. So it says spawn one puppet, which we did. Then it's going to target the closest victim and move and move. And right now it's movement is one. So it's going to go beep right here. Little Steve doing a little sneak around. Classic, classic Steve. The killer is targeting whoever's closest, but we all know he's targeting the danged up in the corner. And um, basically, he can't move because he's a big dum dum. So you know how you know how it be. The card we got is "Bring Her to Me." This sounds like something the Beast would say. Hello, Orange Crush. Stinky dog for the other. I don't know why that's the first thing that came to my head, but sure. All right, we got Steve, we got stinky dog, and we could have stringy again. That seemed to be a hit, but we could also rename him. So if somebody else has an S, day, S name, I'm all for it. The closest puppet to you, which is obviously Steve, um, is going to target me, which I think is kind of rude. But, oops, they're going to go into this space with the victims because they're moving one. And then they are going to attack. You hate to see it. R.I.P. Bob. Because that's his name, I think. Um, okay. If, oh, no, wait. He is not there. Sorry, they were targeting me, not the victim. So I don't think they kill the victim. It's only if they target both of us. So it's like my victims are hiding and Steve can't see them because he's a puppet and he doesn't have real eyes. Um, if you were damaged, I wasn't. Uh, if you are in Geppetto's space or there are no puppets in your space, discard this card. Otherwise, resolve this entire card again. So nothing happens. That is what we like to call a best case scenario. All right. So that's everything for these butts. Let's go on. To this butt. All right, so I am going to sprint. We're making a run for it, people. Um, I'm wondering if I should ooh, put that back up. If I should focus first, but perhaps I won't. So let's sprint. I'm going to try and get to these two. Oh, <gasps> two stars! Two stars! Yahoo! Okay, so one time, and then I can move three spaces, which is perfection because we are going to go one, two, we're going to pick up Jill and Jane and we're going to, oh wait, that's not a door. Hmm. That's okay. We'll still move them with me. There's the danged. Hey danged. Ooh, actually, hold please. I'm not going to, yeah, I'll take them. I'll take them. It's fine. Everybody can chill up here, but I might take the, um, what is it? He targets the, the danged. Yeah, actually it's good to leave, leave him where he is. You know what I mean? Because then I could go over there and he's not going to bother me. Okay. So we sprinted. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to try and get that archery bow by doing a little search, mix search. All right, so we got one star, which is fine. It says take the top item. So I'm not gonna bother spend anything else. So we got the archery bow. It can only be used three times. So we will put on, well, let me read it to you first. It says, assume the position, knock the arrow, draw the anchor, aim, release the string, bullseye. So this has a range of one to two, and it hits for one. It is a two-handed weapon. Here, hold on. Oh my gosh. That's what it looked like, okay. And uh, the archery bow cannot modify an action card and must be used without one. It costs two time to fire an arrow. So you don't need an action card for this, but it does cost you two time to use it. Hmm. So it's not an additional, like a lot of the weapons, like the bat, if you're attacking, 
um, it gives you additional hits. So that's quite interesting. Um, so I got one star, which means I need to go down one time. Now, I think I am going to focus just to see if I can get closer to those three dice. <gasps> nice. Okay. We're losing a time, but we're getting closer. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to, I only have a close call card left. I'm definitely keeping that. So we will end our turn here. Beep bop. All right. So let's go shopping. I only have three time and I think I definitely, I think I should probably take a sprint for two and I'll take another close call for one. That's what I bought. And then I get all my zero time cards back, which is pretty sweet deals, if you ask me. Pretty sweet deals, all right? Boom. Uh, okay, so it is the puppet's turn. We will be spawning. What was this guy's name? Now I forget. Stinky Dog? He, yeah, you know what? He's totally a stinky dog. Totally. Steve, stinky dog. We still need one more S name. What does the time mean? Uh, the time is basically how you track how long your turn is and how you buy cards. So each card has a time value on it. That's how much it costs. Ooh, focus, focus. On the bottom, that's how much it costs to buy. And then um, on the side, a lot of the actions will make you lose time. And time is just how long of a turn you get how many cards you can play, how many cards you can buy, that kind of thing. Very important, very important. Okay, um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, their turn. So we spawned a puppet. They are going to target a victim. And it is gonna be Bob. You did. So Bob is dead. Um, so this is gonna go up. Bloodlust will go up one, which is fine right now. Uh, that's it. So, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't, he only moves towards a victim. So not moving and Stinky Dog will move though. Eh, I'll probably move here. Then the killer is targeting the danged, but you know what? No movement. So he's not gonna do nothing. Dummy. Oh, ooh, okay. Look at this one. Maybe things are starting to go our way. Draw the top card of any item deck. Ooh, there's nothing bad on that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just see here. So the aluminum bat could be good just to put it in my book bag. I can't hold both the bat and the bow um, because they're both two-handed weapons. But there's also on top, the motorboat keys, or I could just go totally wild and draw a random one. So the motorboat keys, old man Jackson isn't going to mind if I borrow his boat because I'm pretty sure he's dead. Place the motorboat token at the closest space to you bordering the water. Spend two time to use the boat to travel to any other space bordering the water. Victims may come with you. That's interesting. I've never had the motorboat. I feel like, uh, I don't know. Is it smart to have an, another weapon? But this is gonna let me just zoom around. So I think we're taking the motorboat. Sometimes in life you just gotta YOLO it, you know? The only time I've ever seen a nice tarot card in this game, right? It happens very, very rarely. That sounds cool. I feel like those kinds of items can be really useful. Yeah, like let's do it, right? I've never actually gotten the motorboat before. So um, you take the little motorboat token and it says place it at the closest space to you bordering the water, which would be this space. So I could put it there. Um, and then you could spend two time to use the boat to travel. This is really neat because both of the items that I have right now, you don't require another card. 
Sometimes you just have to take life by the motor, exactly. Um, yeah, so it's, this is kind of nice. I mean, they cost time, but that's fine. Anyways, how very odd. Nobody is doing nothing and stuff. Isn't the spot right beneath you bordering? Oh, shoot, you're right. You are so right. Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Even better. Even better. Um, alrighty then. I, yeah, I guess it's my turn again. Jeez Louise. Let's do something crazy. Let's sprint. That's what I want to do. Because I would like to... I'm just looking to see. I wonder... I mean, the motorboat can get me all the way over here. If I walked here, spent two time to take the motorboat all the way over here, I'm right next to a door. He's really close to me, but like, whatever, you know? So maybe let's try to walk. Let's do a little walkie first. Okay, so we did it. So I'm taking these two with me. And then, so we lose a the time. Um, then we are going to spend two time to use the motorboat. And I assume the motorboat comes with me. Hop on, everybody. We're cruising. <laughs> I just assume that's how it works. Yeah, it says place motorboat, travel to any other space bordering the water. That is wild. Look at how far I traveled. I just zipped along that lake. You love to see it. All right. Then um, I'm just gonna, I guess I'll just walk again to try and save some of these people. Two stars, two stars. So we are gonna walk these silly gooses right out the door. There's Jill and what was her name? Janet, maybe, I can't remember. So we need to choose where on Sheila's card we want to place them. So she has take an improvise action card, take the long rest action card. Ooh, I might, so we can do two. One of them is move one space, gain two hearts, uh, gain two time or reduce horror. So what I think, what I think I might like to do is I think I might wanna choose the reduce horror and uh, gain an improvise card because I'm not going to do the move because I still have one movement left and I can go back up there. So we have reduced horror. Whoops. And we will take an improvise action card into our hand. And then I got to make sure. Did I lose all of the time? One, one, two. No. So I have to lose a time for this card. Um, and we'll go back to this space. Wild. Now, I do have a sprint card, so I may as well just try to sprint these peeps out. Let's do that. Okay, that's fine. So that allows us to move two spaces. We lose one time. So we are gonna take Let's see, what are their names? Sally and Sue. Gotta get Sally and Sue out, you know. Out of here, you gooses. You shouldn't be here, it was a killer loose. Um, so we are going to, I still have one more move that I can go back one. Um, but I'm wondering if I take another move then I could go up here. I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna take the move one space. So just remember I have one extra move. And then I also think I will use the gain two time. And we'll go back up to three. So that move is for the rest of my sprint. And one more move is going to put me up with Joe and Josephine. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. If you were able to walk more than one space, would you be able to use the motorboat between that movement? Like move, use motorboat, and then keep using? Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question because I don't, you can't usually like break up action. So I would assume, no. Is that what I did? Hopefully that's not what I did. Because if it is what I did, then yes, you could do that. Um, I never played, so I don't know movement rules. Oh, okay. Um, I don't, I don't know. Actually, I have no idea. Getting pretty good rolls today. We love to see it. Yes, we freaking do. All right, let's see what else we can do here. I actually don't... I'm wondering, so for anybody that's new that's never played this game, what you can do is at the end of your turn, you can discard, or during your turn, you can discard one of your cards to gain a time, which helps with buying action. So I actually think I am going to discard my short rest and my focus to gain two times. So that will give me five time for buying. And I think I will end my turn there. Let's do that. Okay, so um, I have five time. I'm definitely gonna want a sprint card so I can get some people out, so that's two. I will also, hmm, I'll get this card back. So I could take a guard card. It might not be a bad time to do that. So that's four. And that's pretty much all that I can take. So. I am going to take one of the, I'm going to take that short rest card back because I didn't need that extra time. So that's what I'll do. Cool. So we got to put all this stuff back. There we go. And then time goes back up to six. Mm -hmm. You love to see it. All right. Let's put out Susan. All right. Susan, out you go. Stringy Susan, that's what we call her. Um, okay, so Puppet's gone out. They are going to move. Uh, this one will move here. And this one's going to move here. Because they can still only move one space. Uh, and then we'll pull a tarot card. Let's see. Oobly, this probably doesn't isn't going to be as good as that last one. Steve, Stinky Dog, and Stringy Susan. What a trio. You love to see it. Endless Maddening Laughter. There's a bunch on this card. Hello, Schweinbub. Love to see you here. All right. Laughter rings out in each space adjacent to you. All victims in, that, in those spaces panic. Ah, poo. Each space adjacent to you. So not your space. So panic. Um, this little Charlie... Is gonna panic and they will go one so they'll go there okay <clears throat> victims in a space with an enemy are killed whoop all right Bob and Billy you did so our bloodlust needs to go up two because we had two victims die if you are in a space or adjacent to Geppetto lose a heart equal to his attack value um, I'm not. If no victims were killed and you did not take any damage, resolve the next tarot card. But we don't have to do that because Billy and Bob were definitely just soups murdered. And then dang puppets. It was those freaking puppets. All right. I am wearing the slipperiest pants. I just keep sliding off of my chair. It's driving me nuts. So if you see me like fussing, it's because I keep sliding off my chair and I don't know how to stop rant over. Okay, that's it. That's uh, not so bad. It's back to us. And we got to save some of these, these silly Susies. Oh, <gasps> okay, good. I did get a sprint card. I'm like, do I have no movement? That would be a travesty. All right, let's try to sprint. We have three dice now. Um, because, you know, we ain't scared. Not scared of nothing, basically. So we're going to try and sprint. Two stars. Yee-hoo. So that means 
Oh, I can get them out. Which way do I want to go? If I go this way, I can go one, two, three, come back there. So that's what I'll do. One, two, I saved, crap, what were their names? Uh, I forget. Sally and Sue, maybe they might not be. Hi, Joe, how's it going? Um, so I'm saving Sally and Sue. I may have already saved them. Take a long rest action card. These are the last two spaces. Um, long rest, so I get to take one of these into my hand. And then the other one is two hearts. However, I am Joe and Josephine, thank you. Oh, that's funny. Joe, I just saved you and Josephine. You're welcome, I guess. Um, here's the thing, I don't think that I can gain more hearts than I already have. I'm almost positive. If there's anybody in the chat that knows that rule, let me know. Because her last um, thing is to gain two hearts, but I haven't lost any hearts. So I don't think I can gain more hearts than I've lost. So now we get to flip Sheila's card. And her special thing is that instead of gaining one time for discarding a card, I can gain two time. Two time. Um, and I need to, speaking of time, I need to move it down one. Okay. Okay. I think it's time to start getting after Geppetto because he's just kind of chilling down there. Like, what is he even doing? Seriously. Oh, poo. I don't, I move one more. I don't have any more, um, I don't have any more movement. So what are we going to do? We are going to, I'll discard a focus card to gain two time. I mean, we may as well stack up a little. I'll discard my short rest to gain two time. We are definitely not discarding our long rest or even, I think we keep the rest of these. We have nine time. So this is a great opportunity to get a critical blow for six. This is just a big hit card. Um, so I've got three left. I get all of these zero cards back. I will check to make sure that I have no more than uh, 10. Hmm. Oh, I'll definitely take the sprint. So I think that's it, because that would make it eight and there's no one cards. What a day, what a day. What a freaking day, you know? Ooh, I've missed some messages. Thanks for saving me, Geppetto's Creepy. You are welcome. You are so welcome. I don't know the official rule off the top of my head, but I always played where I max out health. Can't go over my starting amount. I believe you're doing, yeah, I think I think you're right, Warble Fly. I am pretty positive that you can't become, that you're like superhuman, and that just doesn't make sense. Um, happy Friday, Michelle. Welcome, happy to have you here. All right, let's see. So I have bought all my cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have to get rid of one. And I think I will probably get rid of my focus card. I think that makes the most sense. Okay. All right. Over to you, Geppetto. You butthead. All right. So no puppets are spawning because they're all already on the board. Put it on the board. They are all going to move one towards a victim. Closest victim is the danged. These two aren't gonna move because you know why? They got strings to hold them down because they're not Pinocchio. So they can't go anywhere. However, Stringy Susan is gonna move one. For the new people that just arrived, just so you know, the puppet's names are Steve, Stinky Dog, and Stringy Susan. So I'm not just saying those words, they're, they're uh, actual names given to them by their mother Geppetto. Um, all right, so they have done their movement. Once again, Geppetto, like what are you even doing? Chilling, I guess. He's just sitting there playing with his puppets. Run for your life. Yeek. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next, but there are. All victims that are not in your space must panic. Everybody 
Calm down. All right, so this one, Charlie, four. Mm, beep. So he'll go up there. And then the danged, six. What a roll. Oh. Doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't go anywhere. Only if I were to roll a five would he have gone, I think. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I forget. I need to look up panic for a second because I just need to make sure that I am moving them correctly. Because basically for panic, for anybody that doesn't know, you roll a die and then you move them according to that number. But there's numbers on both sides and I sometimes get confused. I don't know if you move it the number according to what's attached to the place or to the place you're going. So let's see, unless somebody can answer me quicker, then I can answer myself. To resolve panic, roll a die for the victim. Did it. Move the victim one space in the indicated direction or leave them where they are. Um, that was not helpful. Let's see. Don't worry. There's an example. Okay, so we rolled a six, a three, and a one. So this is showing... I think it's the one that's attached to them. Uh-huh. One victim, panics east, three. Yep. Six. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So he would move here. Dang. Danged. Okay. And then um, everybody, or a buddy, is going to uh, target me first, but... None of them are where I am because they're all dumb. And then they're going to go rut row, rut row, Rorge. Okay. They are going to go towards the victim. Now, you're like, but they're on strings. But if a tarot card tells the puppets to move, they do because they're dumb, because they're puppets. However, um, this dummy is also going to move. So realistically, they're still within two spaces, but they're not attacking. They're just moving. I don't know what they got going on, but, you know, it's none of my business how Geppetto runs his shop. It's none of my business. That's all they're going to do. So it's back over to us. We just got to get close to Geppetto and start shooting him with the bow and arrow. And that's a problem solved. Um, okay, let's see. We have one sprint card and two walk cards. So we'll try to sprint first. Poop. Okay. We have a close call. So that allows us to do ye old re-roll. Um, so I don't think I want to discard anything right now. Oops, that's supposed to go back down. So I can roll any one for free. Or I can roll all of them for two time. Let's roll all of them. Whoa. Okay, well, I got one star. That was chaos. All right, so that allows me to move two spaces. Hmm. Okay. If I... If I move two spaces up here, it puts me right next to the trio of puppets, sad puppets, um, then they're probably going to try and kill me. You know, it is what it is, really. I need to get close to him, so I want to get to the boat. Oh, I'm a dumb, I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, one, two. All right, so I'm in the boat space. And I can spend two time. I am going to do it. Let's do it. So I'll spend two time. Hop in my boat. P.S. I got a boat for anybody that didn't know. Because I'm a bala. And we're going to go. And then we're going to go to the dock. That's what the bird sounds like. Okay. We're right next to him. Yikes. But don't worry. Don't worry about a sweet hat. Okay? Um, so, I'm just thinking. 
I would sure would like to get that retaliate card. So I need to make sure that I can discard enough to give me more time. So what I think I'm going to do, I want to shoot him with my arrow big time. Um, it only hits him for one. But it's a guaranteed hit. So I feel, it feels as if, maybe I should do that. They're having a vacation day, but everyone thinks he's killing. The deaths were simply accidents. Yep. Classic. Classic horror movie stuff. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just trying to think of what I need to do. I could either do that or I could literally walk into his space. And I've got one two attackers. You know what? Sometimes in life, peeps, you just gotta YOLO it. Holy Toledo. We got two. All right. Hey, what's up, Geppetto? Good to see ya. What are you up to? What are you doing? Nothing? Cool. Okay. So, we be walking, and now we're doing a big attack. Oh no, the Puppet Master's X summer camp. Yeah, he was like the, the entertainment that they hired. And, you know, it went wrong. They should have went with the... What's the... Magician? Not a magician. Help, what am I thinking of? The thing, the hypnotist. That's what they usually get. All right, we're going for a critical blow. Oh, crap -oly. Don't worry, we've got a close call. And I have two time... So I'm re-rolling all of them. Oh, girl, look at that. Beep, beep, beep. We got two stars, two stars. So I have hit him three times. One, two, three. Boom, boom, bang. Gotcha, you sucker. And I could put my horror down one, which is awesome. Next time I have to put my horror down where it's at the very bottom, I get to gain time which in this moment would feel great. So I didn't lose any time, so I could technically keep going, and I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just try a weak attack, which could in fact make me lose a heart, but whatever. Or you know what? How about I don't lose a heart? I like them apples, Geppetto. Boom, gotcha. Shoot, that means I still have I am wondering, I have a walk. I have a walk, so I'm wondering if I should walk away from him. But, hmm, I have left myself with no time to buy stuff. I really wanted that retaliate. Hmm, I'm just thinking, obviously. <laughs> what else would I be doing? Um, I can get rid of two cards with enough to get this retaliate. However, he's currently going after the danged. For anybody who's uh, just popped in, uh, Butthead Geppetto has to first and only attack right now the danged, which is this Cheeto. And uh, basically, it says, uh, the victim farthest from the killer, which is the danged, uh, whenever the killer must choose a target, the damned is chosen instead. Sorry, the danged. The danged can only be saved if it is the last victim alive. So, you know, that's what the Cheeto be doing. So I don't think he's going to even bother with me. Hmm. All right, I am going to discard two cards for four. So that's Sheila's special power. Uh, so I could, I could use the four to get a furious strike, which would give me an attack, which I th think is good because I still have, he's only hitting for one. So let's do that. You know what? I have a guard card. All is well. All right. But I have, like, no movement. So, mm. merp. I don't know if I've done the right thing or the wrong thing. Nobody knows. That's part of life. 
That is just part of life. All right, let's put all this stuff back. And then the clowns are gonna go, and then it's gonna be me again. Those fools. Right now he's thinking he should have went to space camp. Yeah, honestly, I bet he is thinking that. He's like, ooh, why did it go into puppetism? I assume that's what the uh, profession is called. All right, so puppets. Hello, puppet. They are gonna move, but they're not because they're already in a space with the victim. Oh, crap. He is going to attack me. I'm an idiot because he's in my space. Yeah, I think even though he's supposed to target this one, if he's in my space, he's obviously going to target me. So he is trying, he's trying to hit me for one. And I'm tempted to just let him do it. Is that weird? Like I have a guard card, but I feel like it's kind of a waste to use it right now. Oop, what are all these people doing? You have been saved, away with you. Uh, do you know what the themes are of season two? Oh my gosh, there's so many. I don't know exactly all of their titles, but there is one that's like, Little Red Riding Hood and um, the wolf, the big bad wolf. There's one that's alien-esque. There's one that's very like Stranger Things-esque. Um, there's one that's kind of like The Thing, I think. Um, I don't remember. Those are the only ones that are coming to the top of my head. I got them all. So don't even worry about it because you will be seeing all of them on Fridays once I get them. Um, okay, what was I? Oh yeah, I think he's gonna attack me. He's only attacking for one, and I am just going to take it because the terror card could be worse and the guard card potentially lets me ignore all damage. So let's just do that. Oh. Well, let's go see if the rumors are true, shall we? Why don't we? Place two new victims in the space where the killer started the game. Okay, so that's literally right here. Couple new victims. We got Vicky and Vincent. What up? Um, then we increase horror. It's fine. And we are going to pull a new event card. Ooh, stubborn kids. Stubborn kids. Damn teenagers think they know everything. One less victim will follow you. Well, guess what? I'm over saving people anyway, so I don't even care. I don't even care about that. Ooh, okay. Um, love the Red Riding Hood idea. That is honestly, Jelly Stars, that is the set that I am the most excited for. Um, many of you probably don't know this about me, but I love werewolves. Like, Teen Wolf is unironically one of my all-time favorite shows. I love it. So if anybody here watches Teen Wolf, like the new one, the MTV one with Dylan O'Brien, you let me know. It's like my favorite show. Um, there's like Home Intruders, I think. Some kind of insane asylum. Yes, yes, that's right. Um, I think the Home Intruder one is almost like the, uh, what's that movie? The Stranger? Is that right? I think it's like very similar. Oh, thanks for the follow, chocolate wine. Um, some kind of insane asylum that, yeah. And it's, oh, the Tundra research and a space base. Yeah, so the Tundra one is, I think it's like a Yeti is the bad guy. Um, yeah, I went all in on seasons one and two. I keep watching playthroughs to keep me hyped. I'm so excited. I am also so excited. Listen, I don't tell Villainous, but I think this has probably, I think this is my, I think this might be my favorite game of all time. It's just so good. I really also want to get um, the game that this is based off of. Crap, what's it called? Hostage Negotiator. My wife used to love MTV's Teen Wolf, and I love the old school one with Michael J. Fox. LOL, I'm old. They're both good. Oh, you love, okay, Sunday Laughs loves Teen Wolf. Season 3B, the Nagitsune season. Some of the best television. Okay, 
we are just sidebarring for a second about Teen Wolf because yes, I have been, I got Jeff to watch Teen Wolf and I was like, you just, you have to get through the first season because it's super cheesy and the, the special effects aren't that great. And you kind of have to get through the second season, but then you start to fall in love with the characters. Season three, part B is freaking amazing. It's amazing. Styles in that season is everything. I'm obsessed. Home Intruder one looks like the Purge. Ooh, slash Devil's Reject. Scary, scary stuff. Um, that's what I was thinking. The Strangers is probably the influence for the Home Invasion one. Because I feel like he's got like that mask. Yeah, totally. Okay, what the heck was I doing? Oh yeah, we just resolved the event. I got all caught up on my Teen Wolf talk. Wolf talk, love it. Okay, so back to me. So I am glad that I bought that Furious Strike because I am still within his space. So let's do a little stabby stabby. One star, whoopsies, I just rolled that. That was cheating. Um, so I got one star. Ooh, ugh. that sucks. That means I have to end my turn. So one star means I hit him once, which is fine. Reduce horror, which is great. Um, but the X on this card means turnover. So it's back to him, which is fine um, because that means I also have six to spend, which means I can get my retaliate card for four. And then I still have two. Look at all these back. Ooh, instead of retaliate though, could get this critical blow card for six. Why wow, feels like a better idea to me. Where did I put the retaliate? I'm doing it. Critical blow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We good. We good. Oh, Styles. Yes, Michelle. Styles is like my all time, one of my all time favorite TV characters. I love him. There's an idea for another Twitch stream. Wolf talk. Listen, Joe, don't tempt me with a good time because I would be all over that. Teen Wolf Talk. I rewatched, I've watched that show from start to finish at least seven times. No regrets. No regretties. Um, all right, so I bought it's his turn, their turn, because we have the three S's. Three S's, sounds like I'm saying three asses, which I kind of am. Okay, puppets are going to move, but they're not. Um, and Geppetto is going to attack me. Still just for one. So I am still attempted to not use my guard card. Because that could be worse. So let's just take it. Why the heck not? I ain't even scared of you and your puppets. I came with scissors. Cut your strings. Ooh. Okay, here we go. I fell asleep. What did I miss? Place one new victim at the cabins. Where are, okay, oh, whoopsies, not you, you're a special victim. Okay, and then I increase, that sucks, increase horror by two. We're back to two dice, but I'm still not scared. Like he has not attacked me at all. This is the laziest killer I've ever dealt with. Um, you basic, you lazy. All right, so it's back to me and obviously we're gonna go with this critical blow. Actually, let's try and focus first because maybe I can get another die or not, oops. I could get rid of two cards, which I will. I'm gonna get rid of my two walk cards to turn that into a success which is gonna put me back into the three dice zone. You love to see it. That's what we wanted all along, three dice. All right, now we're gonna do a critical blow. So we got one star, which would be two hearts. However, if I get rid of two cards, it's three hearts and he only has three hearts left. So we are obviously doing that. So I'll get rid of a focus and I'll get rid of my short rest. Please, let you be dead. All right, one, two. 
Moment of truth. I did it! He's dead! That felt way too easy. The last time I played Geppetto, I feel like I got super, super dead. And I honestly think the danged is what saved me. That's wild. I didn't even have to use my bow and arrow. This is a good redemption after the mess that was in Kenyamba last week. So I won. You love to see it. You freaking love to see it. Cool. Thanks. Good game. Good game. Thanks, team. Thanks for watching. Um, okay, so let's, let's think about next week because there is a very good chance that I do have the new sets. I think the speedboat helping you save those, um, yeah, Sunday lights, the speedboat was the best choice. Like imagine I took the bat, what a dummy I would have been. Um, I looked up the themes, oh, okay, thank you. Into the Void, which is Alien, Terror at Station 2891, which is like the thing, A Knock at the Door, which is like the Strangers or the Purge, once Upon a Full Moon is Little Red Riding Hood, and Madness in the Dark is I Don't Know Man? IDK Man? I Don't Know Man. <laughs> um, speedboat was clutch. Yes, hundo percent. One hundo. The Thing won. Okay, so I maybe I should watch The Thing before playing. So I'm assuming that's your vote. You want The Thing. Everybody just throw out... Oh, Madness in the Dark is the Insane Asylum one. Perfect. So what is the one that people want to see the most? Because if I have it, I will 100% be playing one of the new sets. Um, that's for show. That is for show. Great movie. The Thing one. All right, that's the one we're playing. So the one that we're going to play, I've had two people say it, is which is, what one is that called? Station 2891. And hopefully it's not the hardest one in the bunch, though it might be. Oh, and another thing I want to mention that I just realized, I do, I do have um, Terror from Above. And I didn't even realize, I had already set all of this up, and I was like, oh dang, like I could have played this one tonight. So for anybody that doesn't know, I've actually not played this one before, but basically it is an expansion that comes, it's kind of like the movie um, Birds. So there is no bad guy. Instead, it's just minions. And the minions are birds. I don't know if you can see that. I haven't punched it yet. And it comes with its own little bloodlust track. And it comes with Melanie. And I totally forgot that I had this. So yeah, I think one night, probably after I get through the new sets, we'll do this. Now, maybe if for some reason, I'm really hoping this is not the case, but if for some reason I don't get the new sets in time for Friday, we'll do this. We'll do Terror from Above. I think that would be fun because I haven't done it before. Votes for Little Red. I think um, Sunday Laughs, I'll probably do Little Red second after the thing one. Literally no idea what it's based on, to be honest. Maybe original idea. Could be. The villain is called Ratchet Lady. Oh, I love that. So maybe Nurse Ratchet, but there are a lot of Haunted Asylum movies. True. Um, yes. I really enjoy this playthrough, thank you. It kind of cleared up a lot for me about it. I may have to get it. I do um, know a store that has everything season one. Listen, it like, usually um, Jeff and I sometimes hesitate to be like, you definitely need to get this game. But what I will say is if you play solo games, if you like the theme, if you, yeah, if you've watched the playthroughs and you think you would enjoy it, I honestly like, love this game and I think there's a lot of love for this game in the community and there is a reason for that and it's because it's amazing. Ooh, I forgot to check. Oh my god, look. I was definitely not dying tonight, let me tell you, Sheila. Friggin' superstar. One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest, another great movie with Nurse Ratchet. Yeah, I love that everything kind of has um, the theme 
that is relatable. Like you kind of know there's like a nod to, to what they're about. I'm still hoping for a Final Girl digital version. Ooh, that would be sweet. Less setup. That would be for sure. So basically like when you mix the sets, like you mix the tarot cards. So now putting it away, I have to make sure that nothing is mixed. Um, if they did a Final Girl digital version, that would be so amazing. Like I would literally love that so much. I would definitely play it. Eek. Um, you can always do the terror box include it with season two. Oh, there's a terror box included in season two. I didn't know. I did go all in. Like literally, I think I bought a vehicle pack. I don't know what that means, but I bought it. I do have all of like the miniatures for season one. Um, I think I've said this in another stream. They're just really hard to see in the camera. So I don't use them. But when I play just by myself, I do use them. I do, I sure do use them. That is for show. I am curious because like obviously with the popularity of the game, I think they're just going to keep doing more and more sets, which I am here for. I love that journey for us. Um, so I'm going to be really curious to see like, what do they do next? Like, do they do like, do they do a Dracula one? Do they? Oh my God, that'd be amazing if they did vampires. Um, do they do zombies? Like, I can't even think about that. I'm too excited. If they were to do zombies, I would lose my mind. I love zombies. Um, I held off on the minis, but I really love this game. I think I'll buy the vehicle item minis because I like, yeah, I, l the little mini golf cart or bear trap or speedboat. Oh, that's what they are. I don't know, man. I just bought them. <laughs> I was just like, well, I guess I'll buy these. Very curious to give Final Girl a try one day. Yeah, Hannah, I think that you'll like it, but who knows? I love it. Um, season three, they announced the Terminator. Stop. That would be, that's wild. It's just wild. You know, there's so many possibilities. They could do so much with this game and they are doing so much with it. But yeah, curious, has anybody in the chat played Hostage Negotiator? I would love to know what that's all about. Because I think I might, I had it in my cart from Board Game Bliss to buy. Um, and then I didn't end up getting it because that's just how it be sometimes. I had like $500 worth of games in my cart. And I was like, I do not need these. We have so many unplayed games. You know, can y'all relate? It's very similar, is it? Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking. I've only played Hostage Negotiator in the phone. In the phone? Is there an app? I assume. That makes me think of it's in the computer. Where's the, okay, there it is. Yes, oh, I did not know that that was a thing. The only thing about mixing and matching these boxes is now I have three different boxes to put things away and I need to make sure so I will say after um, replaying all of these like so close together, I do think that Dr. Fright has been my favorite one. I do think that. And Inken Yamba, I do need to do another redemption because I was not redeemed. I was not redeemed at all. It was horrible. It was horrible. Hostage Negotiator does have a campaign mode. Ooh, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I, there's so many sets. Like I went on the Van Ryder website and I was just like, whoa, there's a lot in this game. Yeah. Let's see. Um, the way you said it made me think you did actual hostage over the phone. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. That's funny. Jeez, we didn't even get to like reveal any of his stuff. It's probably not good anyway, so that's fine. Okay. 
Okay, those are his. I have all the cards that we didn't use that are gonna need to be sorted. Back, the items. Ooh. If you haven't, you should do a ranking video. I 100% will do a ranking video. I will do that once um, I've played all of the characters from both of the sets. That is 100% something that I want to do. Because I obviously like have a rank in my head from the ones that I've played, but I just know that like I already know that I'm gonna love specifically like the little Red Riding Hood one. I just know it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Where are the puppets? Come on, Stringy Susan, Steve, Stinky Dog. Get, I don't think any of these are for that, but this is, okay. That's everything for that set. Don't know if you watch Shut Up and Sit Down, but Quinn's has a good video on the hostage. Oh, does he? Okay. I did not know that. I will have to check that out. I only ever, I heard about it only because Board Game Barrage talked about it. Um, and I can't remember, maybe it was Neilan talked about it. And I did not know that it was even a thing. Now I do. Ugh. I always do this. I always do this wrong. This needs to go up here. <laughs> Hang on. Where's the other back for this? Must be over here. Ugh. Yep, it is. Yep, it is. Oh, would your video just be ranking the villains or would you rank final girls, villains, and locations? Whoa. I don't know. I was thinking just villains, but you're right. Like, there's... I think I put the least amount of stock into like whether or not this is the right thing for me to do into the locations. I don't really think about them that much. I think the most about the villains and then the second most about the final girls themselves because some of them I find their like powers are great and some of them I think they're kind of sucky. There, I said it. I do think they're kind of sucky. But I could do all of them. I could do that. I don't even know. Like, if I'm thinking about the only, um, the only location that really stands out to me is, uh, the one from the Poltergeist. Because it has, like, the windows and the ladders and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It just feels really different in comparison to the others, which I feel like sometimes are maybe not as different. All I know is that the killers are what, to me, makes the game more difficult. Okay, items, boom. Set up, boom. Boom. These got to go in here. And that's that. This goes like this. Okay. Cool. Let's see if I can get the lid right for Hans, you boy. I also just have a soft spot for Hans. Like this set. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe because it was like the first one I ever played. That could be it. That could be it. It's just like classic, you know? Hey, I got Hickory Dickory over the weekend. Didn't look up a guide, so hopefully I understand it. It's too cute. It is not complicated to learn. It is very cute. Um, I really like that game. I think it's just so sweet and adorable. And it's basically just like pick up and deliver, really, at, it, at its core. So you should be fine. I think... Does Rodney have a video? I think Rodney might have a video on that. So you can check that out. My brain totally heard Poultry Geist and now I <laughs> I want to see a Chicken Ghost episode of Final Girl. I would love to see like something silly like that. 
I would also love to see myself as a final girl, but here we are. Still not a final girl. Not in real life, though. Please don't care for that idea much. Don't care for that idea much. All right, so next week, if all goes well, we will be playing the Station... Uh, you know, I immediately want to say Station 11, but I know that's not it. What was it called? Station 2891. And then after that, we'll do the Red Riding Hood one. And then we can kind of, we pick and choose after that what we want to do. And then when we run out, or if we don't, if we can't, we'll play the Terror from Below. But that's Final Girl, peeps. Another Freaky Friday. That's the one we got. Did you only get one, Michelle? Which one did you get? Did you get the um, the thing one or the Red Riding Hood one? Station something. Perfect. Well, if you get it, if, do you already have it? Do you already have it? You could play with me. I could play and then you could play at home and then we can see if we both kill the stuff. All right. Thanks everybody for coming, for stopping by. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, we, um, well, first I am going to put our... We do have a, a, whoa, it might help if I spelt stuff right, yeesh. We do have a Discord, you can come hang out after, chat with us, um, and I have created a second YouTube channel that will host all of these videos. So all of our Twitch streams and playthroughs, um, downloading them and uploading them to Foster the Meeple Rewind. So um, if you just look up Foster the Meeple Rewind, you can find it, you can watch it, all that good stuff. Um, Twitch only really keeps stuff usually for like 30 days, I think, so. But what I will say is that the um, Inkin Yamba playthrough is not going to be up there because I just, I was so tired last week and I made so many freaking mistakes. It was a little bit redonk, so I was like, nah, let's not do that. I'm just going to check and see if there's anybody that we can raid. So let's see that. Just one moment. It is taking its sweet old time. Sweet old time. It says, hang in there. We are loading. Okie dokie. All right. Raid. I think that there's a couple of people potentially live, potentially not. All right, let's raid the board game house. That is what we are going to do. You're going to jump over there in about nine seconds. So everybody have a fantastic weekend. Jeff and I will not be streaming on Sunday because we're having a game day, but we will see you again soon. Okay, bye.